Uh, well, to, to answer that question adequately, I have to, I have to explain a lot of things because uh, each of us as a you is a very individualized you. And in my own case, that means that I'm not just a human being. I also happen to be a Christian human being. And I happen to be, moreover, a Christian human being who is just by nature and upbringing uh, reflective about this as about everything else. I also am a reflective human being. And so what that means is that my own reasons for studying religion have always been very closely connected with the deep um, uh, compulsion I feel to examine the cultural tradition that has shaped me and by which I have been made to the kind of person I am in all of its aspects in such a way as to discriminate within that tradition what is good and what is not. Uh, to, to simply to take over the, the tradition that shapes us without critically appropriating that tradition has always seemed to me to be, to be terribly wrong. Socrates put it very simply when he said the unexamined life is not worth living. And so even as a Christian believer, I feel obliged to, to understand better than I already understand and to raise questions then of validity, of whether or not what I've understood is really so. Is it really the case that life is the way the Christian witness says it is? Uh, that question never goes away for me. It's always there. And my own belief is that that question is invited by Christian faith. It does not want to uh, quiet our questions and, and, so to speak, make us quit asking them. It promises to answer them and it encourages us, therefore, to ask them. So when Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life, uh, the question that he is addressing is the question, what is the way, the truth, and the life? And unless I'm asking that, and asking it earnestly and also reflectively, I, d I can't hear his answer. Um, I can't understand what, what he has to say to that question. So I, I, my own reasons for studying religion have always been closely connected with my own personal project of trying to be a responsible, reflective human being. I'm not interested in convincing other people or giving apologetic reasons for believing as I believe. All of those things are decidedly secondary and unimportant to me. I've always been concerned to, to find the truth as nearly as I could find it, given the, the, the promise of truth that comes to me in the cultural tradition that has shaped me. And I, I, I'm, I'm willing to accept that cultural tradition at its word up to a certain point. But I've also learned that there's much in my cultural tradition that betrays me, that does not give me what it promises to give me, but that leads me away from the good, not toward it. Uh, and so I have to be critical in responding to my religious tradition, just as I have to be critical in responding to everything else. So those are, I mean, uh, that's, that's my project. And I wouldn't uh, say that's the uh, only or the most important reason for studying religion, but that's certainly mine.